I don't know how. I don't know why. But somehow, some strange way, Altergeist Magic Spectre Magicians actually works. So if you're new to the channel, smash the subscribe button. Let's get this video to a thousand likes and, and just just enjoy. Like, just enjoy another of Pen God's beautiful creations. The synergy with this deck is just beautiful in more than ways than one. And you guys are about to witness now for yourselves. Look at this. So we're gonna use Pegasus here. We get the free trap. The whole idea here is all three of those decks seem like they kind of work together. So I'll show you how guys comes in in a little bit. We're gonna Pendulum Summon a Fox, a Toad, and a Harmo. I uh, see, it's just a, a very typical, honestly we didn't even open that good. We didn't open any extenders or nothing. We like, look, it's not even that good like that, but Summon Wisdom. Okay, now, get Tornado. All right, now look at this. We're going to link into uh, Masquerina, okay? If you want in this situation, you can link into a Gravity Controller, but, you know, it sucks, so we don't do that. By the way, if you guys like what you see and what you're about to see is going to blow your mind, don't forget to join up for the Trip Gaming membership down below where we discuss the whole new, a new game plan every week. We discussed the game plan of the meta, and the first one was just posted this last Sunday, so don't miss out on that. And we discussed how to beat Droll and how to beat Spirals. Anyways, we're going to go into Time Star over here, and this is where the Alter Guys come in. Time Star is going to search Multi Baker, and this is where it gets even more insane. So, Time Star is there for the Magicians to search Multi Faker, right? But now here's where it gets more insane. So, because you have... Pendulum Graph, which is the way to, to really summon out the, the multi faker because you play triple lines, triple pen graph to get it. Now, because Time Star not only gets the faker, but Time Star is even more broken with the pen graph because now the pen graph will not will pop two cards because Time Star will protect your scale to send another card. So, after resolving the pen graph and Time Star, Time Star equals like four interruptions like this Time Star gets the faker, flip pen graph. Summon the summon the multi faker to bring out Soliquitous, and then Time Star will then pop two cards because of the pen graph, so two pops there. Soliquitous will bounce uh, the faker to, to for three interruptions, and then remember you play Magic Spectres as well. Now, remember I talked about the crazy synergy, right? Well, Alter Guy Soliquitous is a win spellcaster, <laughs> so now we're gonna use Tornado for the fourth interruption on the Soliquitous. And the Tempest on the Toad for the fifth interruption. And then if your opponent is playing some crazy ass deck, that five interruptions aren't enough, you're gonna Masquerina for the sixth because look what is bounce the card back to your hand. So just like that, you have six interruptions. Six motherfucking interruptions with Magic Spectre Magician Altergeist. It is honestly a thing of beauty. I can't even not even begin to describe. And the hand wasn't even that good. It was just an average hand. And like, obviously, it's the best going first. Obviously, I'd rather play Endymion than this. Uh, but if you love Mad Specters or Altergeist, or hey, if you're Doug Zeef, and uh, hey, Doug Zeef messaged me and said I was Ben. Well, I'm gonna mess Doug Zeef and say Altergeist best deck, baby. Let's go, Altergeist, Mad Specter, Magicians. Now, this is the deck profile of this weird deck that somehow works. Triple Harmo, the heartbeat of the deck, it gets a time start, but you can get a time start easily with a triple wisdom mine. Now, you only play one pen call in this deck. Duos Alliance is mainly there to get the trap pendulum graph. Obviously, this is a gold first deck, but so is trap decks. This is the equivalent. Trap decks are seeing a lot of play right now. This is the equivalent of playing one of those decks. It's like playing Spiral or Guru, except the decks actually does something. It OTKs all that. Triple Harmo, triple wisdom mine. Double Oak Dragon because it's a wind spellcaster and the whole deck's about plusing. So you're gonna plus as much as you can and you wanna end on an Oak Dragon in the scale. The last time we had a purple poison, unfortunately, but you have Oak Dragon in scale and you wanna kind of summon the, uh, the Celestial Magician as well. Oh my god, we lost. What's with Dueling Book today? The hey, This is the pure list that no one gets to see. We're gonna go right back to our beautiful Geist Pen deck. But. Uh, Oak Dragon and Emperor Magician are going to give you a plus two, every, uh, one each, plus one each, so plus two every turn when you can. Uh, Black Fang, because you are going into Time Star, so Black Fang will come up as well. Dragon, a huge Magician Engine, huge Magician Engine. You, uh, no extenders here for this variant. I have a different variant with extenders, but 
because of Pegasus and Wisdom Eye, you get the summoning card to the extra monster zone, and you don't really need to go crazy shenanigans here. Uh, triple Bambuku, Triple Fox, uh, Toad, uh, playing Triple Fox over these because it's a low scale, you prefer more low scales. Toad, one Yada, one Nekomata, the cat, just more pluses in that phase. One Faker and two Siliquitus. You want to resolve the Faker twice to bring out a Siliquitus. I don't play any more Alter Geist because you search the Faker every turn. It's like you're playing 10 Fakers because uh, you're going to resolve. You have Triple Harmo, you have Penclaws, four, five, Triple Lions, eight. Uh, all the level four magicians, like you just, you, know, you want to go to the time start to search the Faker. You don't want to draw multiples of it. Uh, double circuits to resolve it twice. Extravagance, uh, you have double time star, you have double IP, those are the only important ones in the deck. Uh, you don't need to, if one of them get banished, who cares, you have another. Uh, you could play the Blue Boy Engine if you want, but I do believe the normal summons of the Magic Spectres are very important. So I'd rather not play the Blue Boy Engine for Crowley. Triple Alliance to get Pendulum Graph or Pendulum Call. By the way, if you're new to the channel, subscribe and also check out the playmats above. They're beautiful, gotta say. Uh, Magic Spectres Pegasus. Amazing because if you normal summon the Siliquitus, you can still resolve the Majesty's Pegasus if you uh, draw it. So it's not like a brick. You can still use it for all the Magic Spectre cards. These cards become way less of a brick now. So the all the three Pegasus, the Cycle, the Tempest, the Tornado, none of them are bricks now because you have the Oaf Dragons to bring out. You have Siliquitus. So you have all these. The synergy works in a really interesting way uh, with Baker and Siliquitus because that's how Magic Spectre is coming as well. And Triple Pendulum Graph. Because you're going time on every turn and you want to draw this no pro all the time. And pen graph is also how you destroy back row decks because there's a lot of back row decks going on, on now, but one time so one pen graph pops two back rows, just like that. The side deck, all hand traps to be honest. You have 11 hand traps here. Triple Joe, triple Nibiru, uh, triple act, double imperm. You set all these 11 for spiral. When you go second, uh, you kind of even change up the deck. I know 11 hand traps is a whole crazy amount for, for pendulums. But look how many traps you have. So when you go second, you can take out whatever ratios you want between uh, maybe a second select with this, take out some Magic Spectre cards, uh, take out some uh, Pendulum Graph cards, you know, like whatever you personally feel comfortable to make sure that you're not losing going second. And against back row decks, you keep all the Pendulum Graphs because they destroy all the back row, and you just put in Triple Denko, Reboot, and the Triple Ash for whichever ratio of Magic Spectre cards you want. Most likely what I say is the best is like one, take out one Pegasus, one Cyclone, one Tornado, or right, keep a tornado going second. Take out Nekomata. Take out these and uh, something like that. Take out like these six, and you can put in triple Denko, a red reboot, and two Ash, and uh, once Liquidus, uh, and then you'll put in three Ash. So these would be the seven cards you play for back row decks for the whole seven. So that's how that would work. We're now going to rearrange it how it was before, but just so you guys, I want to rearrange it like that so you guys can understand uh, the theory behind side decking, which I don't think many people really touch up on, which we do on the Patreon if you guys want to check it out below. Uh, now we have double IP Mascarena. We only play double because of the uh, extravagance. Now, extravagance is fine in trap versions of pendulums. Uh, if you banish Crowley, it's like we don't even have the Crowley. If you guys are too cheap to afford Mascarena, it doesn't matter. You don't really need it. It's just free interruption. Gravity controller. I, it's only there for like the, sometimes you have a random. If you Pegasus a Fox, but you want, now Fox would be in the extra monster zone, but you want to make a Time Star. Battery Control is just as a Link 1 to get rid of it. Its effect honestly is useless, but whatever, it maybe will come up. Uh, this card is actually very good for the Magic Spectres. So going second, you can make this card have uh, 4,800 attack, really, and it could ban it. It's a, you can target one card, uh, your opponent controls the graveyard, shuffle it into the deck. So it's like a DD Crow. Uh, DD Crow that has 1400 attack, so it's pretty damn good. Uh, but it's only it's wins only, so you do it with like an extra slick with this, Magic Spectres, Oak Dragon, stuff like that. Unicorn for the Masquerade or back row, Bortle Sword, uh, Appaloosa, Double Time Star. It is part of the, the big part of the deck, Chidori, because I think Chidori is so good with it's just such a broken card, so you do want to resolve it with Fox and Toad or Yada. Uh, Tornado Dragon, Dweller, Totem Bird, Dragster, and the uh, Tenyi. I, the, t the Synchro 8 Tenny, I'm a big fan of because going second, it acts like a Boral Sword almost. It could get up to 6,000 damage and it's a negate at the same time. So, uh, interruption. So, that's there you have it, boys. Six interruption, Alter Guys Pendulum, <laughs> Magician, Magic Specters. I personally love the deck. It's super fun to play. And if you guys like trap decks, I advise just play it, boys. It's a pretty damn good deck. DZ! Maybe it's time we have a Altergeist versus 
Altergeist Magician Magic Specter Showdown and see who the real Alter God is. Hope you guys like the video. Subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.